Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Go over and get you a free audio book, 30-day free trial over at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdcave. You can be getting, picking up Timothy Zahn's new book, Thrawn. It's freaking awesome. Or you can get Ahsoka. You can get all these Star Wars books because everybody loves Star Wars. If you don't love Star Wars, what are you doing with your life? There's over 180,000 titles, though, to choose from. You can get it on your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle. And if you have an MP3 player and what are you doing with your life, you can get that there as well. So go over to audibletrial.com slash nerdcave and grab you one of those new books. Get smart. We read at the Nerd Cave. We read. Build it beautiful. What's up, everybody? This is Zach. And Allie. With the Nerd Cave Podcast, episode 212. It's a lot of episodes. Yes. There's one or two out there in the wild for you. Last week, mm -hmm. we had our live show. Yeah, I didn't get to see any of it. <laughs> it was very good. I enjoyed spending time with everybody. That's good. You got to go on a trip, so tell us I a little did. bit about the trip. Um, I went down to Orlando for a convention called MegaCon. It is a huge convention. Um, I think it used to be the biggest in Pens or, excuse me, in Florida, but I believe Pensacon beat it out just in terms of numbers. Oh, okay. Um, size wise, MegaCon's definitely bigger. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there were a lot of uh, like celebrity guests there. Uh, Stan Lee, probably the biggest one mm -hmm. there. Um, I didn't actually get to see him in person, but because like every celebrity has like their own table, and it's like you go see them. Stan Lee had a whole thing called the Stan Lee Zone. Like there was a sign wow. hanging down from the ceiling. It's just like the Stan Lee Zone. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And you could just hear him shouting Excelsior <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, there was uh, there was some few there was a few uh, Disney like. Disney animated princess mm -hmm. voice actors and actresses. Um, some of the Sailor Moon voice actresses were there. That's awesome. Um, Tom Cavanaugh. Yeah, Tom Cavanaugh was there. From The Flash. You know him uh, as... That girl whose name I don't remember. <laughs> she played Kristen Snow. I don't know her real yeah, name. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you had Sarah from uh, Arrow and Legend yeah, of Tomorrow. Um, and then uh, Gina Torres. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she... I can't remember her character name, but she was on Firefly. The, um... Wash's wife. Oh, I don't remember her name on anyway, the show. Anyway, but she was there. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, you had yeah, Data all... as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a ton was... of people there. And there Felicia were a lot Day. of uh, cosplay guests. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys know cosplay names, Yaya Han was there. I did get to see her in person. Uh, she was at her vendor booth, and I walked by, and I was like, oh, it's Yaya. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, me and Yaya. You know, that super famous girl who has, like, her own line of fabric and Joanne's. Like, whatever. Yeah, Yaya. Um... I just call her Yah because we're on yeah. first name basis. Oh, you guys, you're, yeah. Wouldn't it just be Yah Yah because Yah Yah no. Han? No, like we're. So you're saying Yah Han yeah, is her last name? No, it's Yah Yah Han. Is yeah, like, Yah <laughs> Like, we're so. Uh, you're so close. So close. You guys are like, they're like this. They're like this. Yeah, like. I want to say colloquial, but I don't think that's the right word. No, here. it's not. Like, we're besties. Yeah, you're besties. Besties. Uh, and she's like. Look at each other. Like, you can just yeah. look at each other and be like. She calls me Za. I call her y'all. There you go. So <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it was just it just happened. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, um, we it's a four day convention. We were only there for Saturday and Sunday. We got to Orlando on Friday, and mm -hmm. that was a really long drive, especially because I just remembered this. Um, we were driving in one of my friend's cars. And she had just had her AC fixed, but her car is notorious for breaking down at least once on a convention road trip. So, on the, like we were like twenty minutes till we got to our, like our um, hotel, and the AC went out. And so it was me and two of my friends, because two of my other friends were in another car. Yeah. And so we're sitting there, like we're di like we had to roll the windows down. We're dying, like we had like a bottle of water left we're like rationing out the water because it was so hot <laughs> uh but we, we we got there we got in the ac we were fine um but that was that was miserable <laughs> i can imagine i can imagine yeah well, like because orlando is just so hot yeah and then um i will say because it was memorial weekend memorial day weekend uh the traffic was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be i'm sure you guys are excited to hear about that <laughs> Yeah, the, um, traffic the traffic from the Nerd Cave podcast. <laughs> Last week's traffic. <laughs> no, um, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we dressed up both days. Mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, we, if people know this anime, uh, me and some friends, we did a small group of Seven Deadly Sins. Um, I cosplayed Elaine. 
Okay, again, for people who know, I don't know how many people have watched it. Is she a sin or not? No, she's not. Okay. She's the sister of a sin. What's the sin's? Uh, his sin, he's sloth. Sl- oh, so he's lazy. Yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah, except like <laughs> their their sins are kind of um, they're not. It's not like oh he's super lazy. I think his thing is like he's late to stuff. Oh okay. Um, yeah. but he's all he's also kind of lazy. It's it's more interpretive I think. Yeah. For some of the stuff, but yeah. um. Uh, yeah, so we did that. A lot of people asked to take our pictures, like every, and also uh, my friend did the Gerudo Link outfit, so it was constantly like, um, because like we have bags, so it's like, okay, I'll hold your bag, now you hold my bag, I'll hold your bag, because people were always taking our pictures, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we met some really great people, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, I can definitively say that I know exactly how it feels with everybody wanting to take my picture. Yeah, I mean, it's when I'm at cons, you know. It's glamour, glamour life, am I right? <laughs> I've had like one. <laughs> person ever ask me hey that's one more than some people hey, it's that's very true some people that go a whole convention they, they don't know what's up yeah this is my this is my uh cosplay yeah i'm zach dykes of the nerd king podcast yeah. oh, oh you you look exactly like I him know. that makeup oh my. Uh, i know i did a good job actually i cosplayed the beard. diva in this shirt once nerf this guys right <laughs> is that which one uh, is over, that? she's the girl the giant pink mech oh okay 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 she's my main Huh. Except I, I, I'm i getting close to being a Mercy main in terms of hours. Yeah. There's like a few hour difference, I think. Yeah. But. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I do want to go to that convention just because... It's very fun. I will say the tickets are pricey. Tom Cavanaugh. That is worth the price of oh, admission. Oh, no, no. Like, no, like, we definitely felt like we got our money's worth. It is a huge convention. It's is a lot of fun. Um... And uh, the park, because they have parking all around the convention center, so we really didn't have to walk that far to get to it. Where sometimes with Pensacon, you have to walk a really good distance to get How there. How was the security? Um, it it was strange. Like they seem, it seemed to feel very secure, but with their at least whenever we went through weapons check, because um, I have personally worked a weapons check before at a mm-hmm. larger convention. And they seemed kind of lax about it. Really? Um, like I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. Like they, there was one guy who tried to take in like a full wooden hammer, like a solid wooden hammer, and the, the security people were like, "We're not, we're not gonna let you take that in. Are you crazy?" Yeah. But um, you saw the picture of my friend with her spear. Yeah. Um, that actually, since it was made out of installation foam, it actually had a sharp point to it at first, but they dulled it down because they figured they're not gonna get let in with that. But they didn't even check that. Hmm. Um. So, they were just like, okay, yeah, you're fine. They just, you know, check it in, whatever. I guess they, you know, they see that it's not really a blade, so they're fine, whatever. Yeah. We were just, we were a little confused by that, because before it's like, you see a weapon, let me check that point. Yeah. Um, well, the reason I ask is because, I don't know if you you heard about all of this, but uh, there was a man that got into Phoenix City Comic Con last yes, week. Yes, I did And tried to kill uh, JDF. Yes. Yeah. So, I didn't know if they, because of that... Mm-hmm. That they would they, have ramped up yeah. security on they, that. They, like, yeah, again, like that's just the weapons check. But they had security people at like a lot of different points. They had them on like, um, because the way it was laid out, it was like kind of like a, um, s- similar to our civic center. Like there's the upper floor and then the vendors floor is down. Mm-hmm. Except they had escalators. Thank God. <laughs> oh wow, that must um, be nice. It, it it's a very nice convention center. It's very roomy. Their windows had great lighting for pictures. <laughs> um, Unlike. But, Ours, where it's like a dungeon. Yeah, really. Um, but yeah, like they had security people at the top of the escalators and the bottom of the escalators. Okay. They, so they had people like checking wristbands and badges everywhere. Yeah. Um, so like it, it definitely was one of those like you didn't necessarily notice them, but they definitely had security people everywhere. Okay. So I, it, I, I felt I felt safe going there. Okay. So. I'm just curious to see how the uh, convention, like face of it will change in light of what has ha- yeah. happened yeah um just you know being more strict on things yeah. so there you go it's a shame that you know something like that happens it wasn't it that um all we- is that that convention they banned all weapons afterwards yep. yeah. yeah even like all props and stuff yeah which, which is like sad for people who worked really hard on their props but at the same time you know a guy took some, it was he took like multiple guns and it wasn't just yeah one. he had like yeah. multiple guns yeah so don't do that. Nope. Don't don't do that. Don't be stupid. Postman twenty seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Don't be garbage. Yeah. Don't be garbage. I was like, I know there's a thing. 
All right, let's get into the Ooh. news. Game of Thrones final season might not air until 2019. I'm not surprised. Do you say 2019 or 2019? Um, I usually say 2000, but I, I read it say, weird. I say, yeah, I usually say, like, the larger the number, the more I have to feel like I have to say 2000, like, 2000 something. Mm -hmm. Um, except whenever it gets to 2020, then it's, it's 2020, obviously. Yeah. You're not going to say 2020. It's stupid. And then we're back into the 20s and the 30s and, and the 40s. And I want, I want the 20s fashion to come back. Not necessarily, like, the social things of the time, because... Yeah, let's not you know. do that. <laughs> let's but not you know, do like, that. Like, you know, like, the suits, the flappy yeah. dresses. That'd be fun. Had really nice fashion back then. They did. Yeah. Just Very nice. Not necessarily social views. Yeah. The society wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, and alcohol was banned. Yep. And a lot of people would go insane if that was the, the yeah, way right well, now. Well, they had their, their, what was it, speakeasies? Yeah. yeah. I, I would call mine the whisper. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I don't know what I call mine. But, like, if someone, like, tried to give me the password and they were, like, talking normally, they were like, like, no. No, it's called the whisper. You have to whisper. Yes, you have to whisper. whisper. <laughs> <laughs> the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones might not air until 2019. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, HBO programming president Casey Bloys revealed that while nothing's set in stone yet, there's a chance fans will have to wait an extra year for the show's final season. It all depends on how much time showrunners David Beninoff and D.B. Weiss will make will need to make season eight. Uh, they have to write the episodes and figure out the production schedule, said Blois. We'll have a better sense of that once we get further into the writing. Uh, Blois also confirmed the upcoming Game of Thrones spinoffs currently in development will only air sometime after season eight concludes as HBO wants to give the original series its proper send-off. That's fair. So I like that they're actually going to wait until the show is done yeah. before start like oh doing all this yeah, like because a lot of people um a good example is uh, Buffy because there was the Angel spinoff but that was going mm -hmm. on while Buffy was going on and like I know they had their crossovers but yeah a lot of spinoffs tend to go on at the same time yeah and you know sometimes the ratings suffer from that yeah um and then sometimes it's done really well because like if you look at the arrow verse you had arrow yeah. then you had flash then you had I'm, like it's it's weird because it's almost like they're not even like i wouldn't even consider them spinoffs anymore you know what I yeah mean? like they've come into their own yeah. and oh my flash season three whoa that thing was killer ah it was it was amazing me and amy watched uh, the rest of season three, Friday night, and yeah. oh, so it's good, good. so yeah. good. And now it's on Netflix. That and Arrow and yeah, season uh, Legends of Seasons of Tomorrow. Season, Legends, seasons of Tomorrow. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow uh, are all out. Mm -hmm. Like their their latest seasons are out, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, speaking of superhero things on Netflix, they added Doctor Strange. That was like really fast. Yes, it was. Ironically, um, I wanted to watch it the other day. It was mm -hmm. literally the day before they added it because I went on Netflix. I didn't have it. And so I was like, what? And then a couple days later, Amy came over watching something on Netflix and I saw Doctor Strange pop up. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that they're like, it's shorter and shorter turnaround because. Yes, because you want to watch it again. Yeah. And what was really nice about the CW shows, and this is for all CW show now, mm -hmm. and I hope that others start doing this. Eight days after the finale, it goes up on Netflix. Oh now. wow! Yeah, so like it's a that, that's much, a very short turnaround. Much much quicker turnaround that you're not waiting till the new season starts and they're like, well, yeah. I've got to watch this old season now. This it's yeah, so yeah. it's so a much. A lot of shows are like that, and I it's clearly because you know the channel isn't wanting to give Netflix the rights to it and stuff like that because they want to sell DVDs, but exactly, nobody exactly. buys DVDs no. or Blu-rays that much anymore. No, they don't. And it's a thing of the past. So. I'll, I'll do it for Sykes since they took it off Netflix. <laughs> Which I'm still mad about. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to the suspension bridge. Me and yeah, you were telling me about that. I'm super jealous. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I get some drone footage. Get a drone. Oh. <laughs> All right. Back to the news. Batman. Is actor Josh Gad teasing a role as the Penguin. Beauty and the Beast actor Josh Gad has been posting some curious Batman-related imagery to his social media. Gad tweeted a photo, photo, a photo, 
rodeo. On June 1st of himself at DC's entertainment offices holding a Batman cover featuring the Penguin. <gasps> and standing alongside DC... DC <laughs> Do you want me to read this? Nope, nope, I got it. This is part of the show, everybody. This is the experience. This is what they come here for. Yeah. For incoherent reading. Yes. That's that's what draws the masses. (laughs) DC Films co-bosses Jeff Johns and John Berg. Gad's caption, nothing to see here. I'm a little, well, some of this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what what did you take on that? Like, um... I mean, the fact that they're doing that is probably a thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and I I think that'd be a great role. I think Josh Gad would do really good at, would do a really good job with it. Oh, yeah. I like... He, he's a fantastic actor. Yeah. I loved him as Olaf. Yeah, he was great as Olaf. And being LeFou he, in uh, he, Beauty and the Beast. He nailed LeFou. And now Amazing. he's going to be um, in Murder on the Orient Express. Yes. Spoilers, if people didn't know that. He's They're making an Orient, Murder on the Orient Express movie. Yeah, I called that when the trailer started. I, I had no idea, because you said you'd seen something about it before. Like, right? I saw, like, a, a headline somewhere, mm-hmm. but it looks really good. It does. Like, it's got they so have, many big-name actors in there. have a lot of really there. big-name people in it. Um, i trying to remember some of the people. The now. old like, English like, lady that's yeah. in everything. Oh, my God. She was in Pride and Prejudice. Yep. She, she was, was in, in Sherlock. the Bond movie, right? Yes, she was M and James Bond. Yeah. That lady. She's right. in everything. <laughs> She's in everything, but she's a fantastic oh, actress. Oh, yes, absolutely. Amazing. Um, and uh, Kenneth Branagh's Bron- Bron- is going to be in it. Yeah, and uh, even Johnny Depp. Yeah, Johnny Depp's going to be in it. Hopefully it's not the same caricature that... He always plays. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not there. Oh, I'm drunk. Am I drunk? I oh, know. who knows? <laughs> I can't... It's OH PG-13 movie. I am drunk. <laughs> Rum! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Johnny Depp, please don't sue us. <laughs> we, we're being honest. It's fair. I like you. I'm just being honest. It's he fair. wears a lot of bracelets. He does. Like, an excessive amount of bracelets. It's like, you know, when it was like, oh, I'm into this, I'm into... Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yeah, I do. Like, he's got so many that he's just <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter, I'm just down for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you enjoyed that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want gaming content, you can go over to Nerd Cave Gaming right there. If you want to support us, you can check out Patreon right there. If you want more videos, check them out right here. Go ahead, pick one of them. I wonder which one you're going to do. You're going to be cool. You pick any of them, all four of them. You'd be awesome.